History happens to people, and people make history. This was something that targeted everyday people. We were not, you know, generals. We were not a sworn enemy of anybody. These were people who were going to work, you know, flying. We knew that families, the people that had lost a loved one um, that day, were going to need to have a place, have a way to remember the person that never came home from work, never came home from a flight. So Jupiter was just a lover of life. He put his whole heart into what he did. He put his whole heart into his relationships. This is why anniversaries are hard, because I, I don't think that there's a day that goes by that I don't think about him. or that I don't think about what happened to him. And our lives together, and who he was, and what he meant to, what he meant to everyone that knew him. Jupiter was a banquet manager at Windows on the World. One thing I donated was a, a, a wine set that had a corkscrew and a wine topper in it. It was from an actual event at Windows on the World. He loved his job. He loved what he did. He was very good at it. Well, with an event like September 11th, which is mass, a mass homicide, a mass trauma, it's very hard not to speak in statistical terms, you know, 2,977 people died, nearly 3,000 people. Each person who makes up part of that tally was an individual who lived a life. We all share memories of that day on that day. That day is revered to us. Um, and it's also tied to my sister Beverly. My brother-in-law is Sean Rooney, and he worked at the World Trade Center. The second plane hit his tower. And at that point, he was above the impact zone. And he called my sister again, and they said goodbye to each other. And she was on the phone when that tower collapsed. Of all the 50 deaths in Thursday's plane crash near Buffalo, hers may stand out the most. Beverly Eckert was a September 11th widow who put She her died in a plane crash um, in 2009. She was going to Buffalo to give a scholarship at her husband's school, um, high school. My sister's remains were found. So we have a gravesite for her. We don't have a gravesite for Sean. Artifacts become very important. And artifacts are the facts that someone lived. They are the facts that you can touch. And um, for Sean, he had many sides to him. He was a great chef, but he was also a weekend carpenter. His tool belt and his tools were given to the 9-11 Museum. And to me and to our family, this is a very important side of Sean Rooney. This is his building side. He loved to do this. He built things, he constructed things. It 
is a perfect antidote to the destruction of that day. And uh, it's, it doesn't seem like 20 years for sure. It doesn't seem like 20 years. <laughs>